And here we are, 840 days we've waited, but the AJ Bell Women's Tour is ready to roll out from beautiful Bista here for stage one. Nina Kessler on the outside, Clara Capone is there as well, Sarah Roy, long drawn out sprint here, but it's Nina Kessler of Tibco Silicon Valley Bank that tries to come through there, takes that one, Damie Vollering in that purple jersey there of Team SD Works, gets herself up there and Damie Vollering, super talented rider, what a season she is having, she could be a big favourite for this race, as it goes on, there's confirmation of your sprinter column, Nina Kessler takes it from Sarah Roy and Damie Vollering. Yannick Ensing though, looking for maximum points over the first climb of the Queen of the Mountains of the day, with 59.2 to go, she takes that, we'll look back down the road here, it's the Canadian national champion here of Alison Jackson that comes through, Damie Vollering, very vigilant as well, Damie Vollering and the French national champion of Evita Musique right on the back there. Yes, it's second in the best young riders classification in the Women's World Tour. This is your confirmation. So Yannicka Ensing takes six points ahead of Alison Jackson, who takes five. Damie Vollering, very vigilant up there. Elise Chabet, Evita Muzik, and then Anne Santesteban. The teammate of Ensing leads the peloton over and takes one point. Three, two, and one points. Consoni, though, sprinting for the top. So Chiara Consoni, you wouldn't expect anything less. So she takes maximum points ahead of Marcus as the ranger starts to fall. You see, as soon as Chiara Consoni makes that acceleration, her turn of speed. So it shows that the form is there. She has good legs. Uh, but for many riders, especially the British riders, they'll be uh, loving this rain starting to fall. Elise Chabé in a battle there with a Yannick Rensing for some points in the Queen of the Mountain Marty. And there's confirmation of your result. Consoni takes maximum points. Mark a second. And Elise Shabby, the Swiss rider for Canyon Shram, takes third. Campbell, such such a talent, swings off the front now, but Kessler on the front for Tibco Silicon Valley Bank. Roy is there, Alison Jackson comes up as well, but Kessler on great sprint form here today. Nina Kessler takes a second sprint of the day, and importantly, she's targeting that Iceberg Sprints jersey as well. Short, sharp slopes here of Sibford Ferris. Vollering just stretching that gap. You can see Liana Lipper, Amy Peters, Joss Loudon coming up as well on those blue colours of drops. Lacole Vollering goes over the top, takes maximum points there, but she's causing some damage in that peloton behind. The cracks are starting to open. With less than 13 kilometres to go, really the teams, they need to start to organise the chase. They know how dangerous Demi Vollering is and they can't give her an inch on the road. There's your confirmation. Vollering takes three, Loudon and Lippert two and one points. It's such a skill for a sprinter to be able to surf the wheels and uh, work off all the other lead outs. The peloton splits round that roundabout and they've come together. Big crash on the left there. It's taken down quite a few riders. Looking from that aerial shot there, Alison Jackson, I can see the Canadian champion and they're already through the Flam Rouge. You got Chloe Hosking, second wheel, Leah Kirschman now, 200 metres to go. Clara Capone, Marta Bastianelli also well up there. Damie Vollering is there, but Chloe Hosking now is the first rider to make a move. The Aussie for Trek Sega Fredo. Capone right there on the wheel. Is it going to come down? But Marta Bastianelli at the last moment. Marta Bastianelli just punches a hole through that gap. Bastianelli, the Italian for a lay BTC. See Ljubljana times it to perfection and takes stage one. And let's just take you through this. So one side of the peloton went one way and you just saw the way they came together there, Hannah, out of that round. But that's always the danger, isn't it? You have that coming together of the two sides of the roundabout. Kira Consoni, the rider, just uh, touching shoulders as they make that junction and uh, they just had nowhere to go. And Alison Jackson, the Canadian national champion, came into this race as a real pre-race favourite in that red and white jersey, has also gone down. 
Looks like British champion Alice Barnes as well, who was coming up with a lot of speed, was also involved in that. Liana Lippert involved there, the silver medalist from the European Championships. Three riders from Team DSM, Martin. They were just getting that lead out organised, but right into the finish. Chloe Hosking on the front there for Trek, Sega, Fredo, Caponi of FDJ in those white and blue. But this is the moment. Look at the way Bastianelli just finds her way out. This is what she does best. It is the 34-year-old former world champion. She just finds that gap, showing her experience. And when the gap opened from Clara Caponi, she took it with both hands. Confirmation of the result of stage one. Marta Bastianelli won it from Chloe Hosking and Clara Caponi. Shayla Gutierrez was fourth, Elena Cicchini fifth, and Hannah Barnes finished sixth. So Marta Bastianelli wins the opening stage of the 2021 AJ Bell Women's Tour. And she was back on the podium to receive the Sigma Sport points jersey. The first holder of the Skoda Queen of the Mountains green jersey is Damy Vollering of Team SD Works. Nina Kessler of Team Tipco Silicon Valley Bank leads the Iceberg Sprints competition. But no doubt who the day belonged to, the leader of the AJ Bell Women's Tour after stage one is LA BTC Ljubljana's Marta Bastianelli. In the general classification, Bastianelli has a four second advantage over Chloe Hosking and Nina Kessler. Clara Caponi is at six seconds just ahead of Sarah Roy. Alison Jackson and Damie Vollering with a group of riders including Hannah Barnes at 10 seconds.